Hey guys, welcome back to Bearded Lumber. Uh, Matthew and I appreciate you tuning in. Uh, we've been running a little short series here on the do's and don'ts, the benefits, you know, the pitfalls of aging your lumber or aging your logs. Uh, we got some pine we're going to talk about today, so hang on, we'll be right back. What we got here today is a forest pine log. Every bit of the bark has fell off of it, 100% of it. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not exactly sure when this was cut, but I know it's been at least a year. Uh, client told me that he was gonna have them hauled over here and then two or three weeks ago, they finally, finally showed up. So it, it's been a, at least a year on the ground. Uh, we've been discussing the pitfalls of leaving your, wood, your logs laying some logs will benefit from it, some won't. Now this pine log, uh, the question today is, did it benefit from laying for a year? And the short answer is gonna be no. Uh, there's no appreciable benefit for aging your pine logs. A couple things are gonna happen. One, you're gonna get wormholes. That's a pine beetle. They're gonna bore, they're gonna bore into your log and that's gonna devalue the structural value of your log. Now, you're also gonna lose uh, structural value, just the wood may be a little doty. So pine is always preferred green with one exception, if you want these wormholes. Now, I, I like selling wormy white pine. Now, I got no use for wormy forest pine. Uh, it don't, I'd rather my forest pine never get wormy, but this did. And it's not mine, it's customers. Uh, like I say, that's the only benefit of aging your pine lumber is for getting the wormholes, which are beautiful. They also turn blue. And in certain circumstances, you can get blue stained pine, which also increases the value. But you're gambling, is it gonna blue stain or is it gonna rot? Are you gonna get enough wormholes to truly call it wormy? Or you're just gonna get one every now and then and it devalues the pile. Now, what we do is we try to sort out if we're sawing white pine, especially white pine. If we run into a bunch of wormy, we'll start separating it. Not wormy, wormy. And we'll air dry it, kiln dry it, and then I can sell it as regular kiln dried white pine, and I can sell it as kiln dried wormy white pine. Now the, the regular white pine, you could use it for exterior purposes, siding, such as that. You definitely don't want to use the wormy white pine for siding, or you're going to be chewing up a lot of caulk, caulk guns, filling up uh, wormholes with caulk. So uh, we haven't cut one of these today, so we're going to take the top off of it and see what it looks. It, it feels good. I mean, the outside layer of this is hard. It hadn't rotted. Uh, let's open it up and see what's inside.
seen us cut through this whole log uh, the log was softer than it should have be, been should have been that's because of aging but the knots are still just rock hard so you have to you have to still slow at a reasonable pace to get through the uh, big thick knots now did this log benefit from aging a year Matthew and I disagree a little bit I say no absolutely not reason being uh, it's lost some of its structural integrity. The wood is wet. Uh, I hope it dries without becoming brittle. Uh, time will tell on that. Um, it didn't pick up any blue stain color to any kind of appreciable amount that you could sell it as blue stain. There's a little bit here and there, but uh, forest pine, no. I think you, you need to saw it as quick as you can to get all your value out of the structural part of it. Now we've got another, another one up here. We got, I don't know, 15 or 20 out here. We're gonna saw through. Uh, we'll come back and talk about it if we see something different. So I uh, appreciate you watching, so hang on. Okay guys, so uh, welcome back. It's actually the next day. We were trying to finish this up last night. Uh, had a little meal malfunction. Had 10 years, uh, never had this happen before, but the, uh, the drive side pulley had actually walked out about half, three quarters of an inch, and it was causing us difficulty with our dry belt. It broke, it was breaking them. I'm actually on my fourth one this year. So we had to iron all that out, get the mill line back up. It was, 
it was an ordeal but we got it all done it's cutting perfect today if you own a wood visor this stuff you're gonna run into uh things happen things move it's a violent piece of machinery but let's get back to talking about this pine uh we ended up with 2700 board feet of one inch pine boards out of that pile of logs we had it should have been a lot more but when you let these lay for a year you're gonna get a lot of rot uh i had little to no flitches because i was basically just trying to get the top layer of bark and a couple inches of wood off to get down to a good piece of lumber so uh, our discussion in this video has been about is it beneficial to age your logs and these being uh pine and sweet gum uh no not at all um i would not recommend letting your pine logs lay more than three to six months after three months you're probably going to start getting some uh, pine beetles and after six months you're definitely going to be getting some rot deterioration if you're if you're sawing for structural saw it as quick as you can if you happen to be looking for blue stain wood or wormy wood then you know let it lay but just keep an eye on it and when you see it to start when you see it start deteriorating that's it it's time to go it's gotten as good as it's gonna get it's going downhill from there uh, I don't care particularly for wormy forest pine Virginia pine yellow pine any of that uh, now I do like wormy white pine it, it looks good it sells good it's a beautiful interior wood uh, I use white pine on exterior projects some if you look over here at our kiln build the whole exterior and the roof deck on that building is for it is a uh, white pine it's excellent wood you just have to take care of it. it it don't like to be close to the ground don't like to have water impeding on it continuously but in the right circumstance it it makes good exterior wood I don't use it for framing. Uh, it don't have the, the too many knots. It just don't have the structural strength. So anyway, <clears throat> to sum up this video, I would not recommend aging your pine other than those one or two things we talked about. <clears throat> get it When you get it on the ground, it's it's got a, a time limit and it's probably as short as anything you're gonna deal with other than sweet gum or hickory. They both need to move through the sawing process, get stickered and start drying. You got any questions concerning this guys please drop them in the comments below uh matthew and i read every comment i answer every comment we'll tell you we appreciate you watching our channel if you're new here we've got thousands and thousands of new subscribers we appreciate you tuning in if it had, if it's something you hadn't seen go back and look at our video library we're up to like four or five hundred videos now i mean there's a bunch of them there it goes by in a hurry uh we're approaching about a year on uh youtube and uh, we do three videos a week uh, matthew and solomon spit those out i greatly appreciate them doing it if you get a chance check out solomon's uh other youtube channel uh, third beard fishing as well as eastern florida Parth eastern florida pythons if you can stand watching snakes <laughs> some of us can't okay gives me the willies uh as always we appreciate joe main he partners with us i can call him up right now he'll answer his cell phone try to help me out the best he can if you need blades if you got a planer molder you need uh, blades and knives for that they do that as well he's a parts dealer I'm not exactly sure how much how much area he can cover but he's now a parts dealer for wood miser I believe so give him a shout out <coughs> I believe that's enough I've rambled on like I say we appreciate you watching guys and we'll see you back at the mill Thank you for watching. Here's a video selection and a playlist suggestion. Click here to subscribe for more great content. We'll see you at the mill.